Hey guys, welcome to my playthrough of Paper Cages, a game about the horrors of adulthood. Um, I guess it's about someone who has to go to work every day and life sucks, and I'm sure we can all relate to that. Um, the game just kind of starts like this, so I guess, here we go. Uh, it's 8 in the morning already? Damn, you wake up at 8? I have to wake up at like 5 30 that's if i want to be uh early um i'm not gonna make it a competition about which one of us has it worse because clearly i do but it's all right we're gonna we're gonna take the day say it am in the morning already um la 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 i don't hear you or why did i choose such a loud alarm noise or no five more minutes okay between all these, I'd rather complain about the loud alarm noise and get up. It's Monday. Time for work, sleepyhead. Okay, fine. Okay, first, clothes. Yes, clothes. I'm not a nudist yet. Then I brush my teeth. I really need an electric toothbrush. You do. They change your life, man. Then food. I still have pizza. No. It's not a good breakfast, but I've done it multiple times. And then, I need to go out the door, lock it, check it twice, and then catch the number five to work. Yep, wardrobe, bathroom, kitchen door, check. Actually, first, I need to get up from bed. <laughs> yes, fine. I'm such a potato, but okay, okay, okay. Or, yay. Um, between all these, <sighs> I'd rather go with, with, genuine anger, right? Because anger can be turned into energy if used correctly. And don't forget, you're meeting Sarah and Mick later today. Oh, right. Tabletop on Mondays. Got it. That sounds pretty fun, dude. Good luck. Who's telling me this? Is this my wife? <laughs> Do other people have conversations like this in their head? Whatever. Let's roll. Okay, so I probably should have read that. Boop. Is this us? Can we move? Okay, so it's point and click. Let's look at the family picture, dude. Oh, first, we, we gotta get up. I'd say let's get breakfast first. How do we move? <laughs> get out of bed! Ah! That was a mash Z to wake up. Okay, so... First thing we want to do is we want to get some breakfast, dude. That's the first thing. You want to get up? You want to get breakfast. Ah! We ate pizza. Then we want to go shower. Where is bathroom? Ah, there we go. Ah! Shower complete. Or brushing our teeth, I guess. Then we change. Because you want to get toothpaste on your uniform. Yeah, okay. Um, we don't go to my PC. We go to the mirror. Okay, because we're going to work. Gotta look, gotta look good. I guess we'll grab the jacket. I guess we won't do any of that. I guess we'll go to the PC. Hey, Mick. Looking forward to today? Yep. Awesome. Up early? Guess who has an interview in 41 minutes? Um, between good luck and cool, I think, uh... These both kind of suck. You're, su you're supposed to be like, fucking awesome, dude. Good shit. That's supposed to be cool. Sounds kind of mean. And good luck sounds like, yeah, stop messaging me. <laughs> ah, between these... I'll go with good luck. Yeah, it was kind of last minute. I'll tell you about it today. I gotta run though now. Now though. Bye. See ya. Alright, cool. Can we go to the mirror now? Actually, let's pet cat. Uh, nice. Oh, we don't get anything for that? That's messed up. Alright, let's go to work. Day two. That's it? Hey. What? 
Aren't you forgetting something? Like what? Like you're supposed to be at work today? What? You've slept in. No, my alarm hasn't gone off yet. Check the time. Okay, it's 9.32. I've slept in. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! Five more minutes of sleep. Fuck! Ugh. It is inevitable. Getting up, that is. I feel like my head is about to explode. Fuck this, fuck that, fuck everything. I just want to stay in bed. Okay, listen. Anger is always better than nothing at all. So, we're gonna go with fuck this, fuck that, fuck everything. Oh god, I need to get dressed. Could I just not dress up for work? Yesterday I accidentally tore a sock while putting it on. Who even invented clothing? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I need to explain why that's a dumb thing. Um, uh, let's go with this one because, you know, it, uh, it, uh, it kind of brings a vibe with it, you know, like, oh, silly me, right? And that's, that, that can be positive. Yesterday I accidentally tore a sock while putting it on. And then I have to brush my teeth? I need to buy a toothpaste that doesn't taste like ass. What toothpaste is that? I use Sensodyne and that's the worst, but it's good for your teeth. What if I just skip the teeth? No. I hate doing this inane shit every morning. No, that's too negative. Let's go with the first one. That gives us a goal. We gotta go to Walgreens or whatever and get some Colgate. And then I need to eat. Whatever. Coffee should be enough for the morning. But no! No, it's not enough. I could just starve instead. I'll lose weight. No, that's bad. What's the point of food anyway? That's stupid. <laughs> um, let's go, let's go with the coffee should be enough, right? Because it's playful. And then I need to work? I feel like I'm just stuck in a little box there. Two, I should quit instead. Three. Would really love to just avoid everyone asking why I'm late. Okay, so here's the thing about this. I believe that if you are not happy with your circumstances, it is much better to just fucking go for broke and do whatever it is you need to do to be happy. I think that is a much better thing than staying in your current predicament forever. Now, if you're doing it to, let's say, save up a bit before you make that leap, that's totally fine. But if you stay there because you get comfortable, I mean, comfort is, let's say, comfort is a double-edged sword, right? If you enjoy your job, you should stay there. If you hate it, I mean, if you stay because it's easy, there's going to be a point where you're like 60, and then your kids hate you, and they never visit. <laughs> My suggestion, go for broke. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I should quit instead. But first, I need to get the fuck up. That's right. The only way to quit is to get up. Yay. Yay, you useless pile of meat. Yay. Yay. Uh, oh, it's getting harder. Uh, all right. Let's, um, breakfast always first, dude. Always. Oh shit. Oh my god, that's... Oh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna let you down, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ew. Who puts pineapple on pizza? A lot of people. Fast food. That'll keep me healthy. I mean, no, but it's still food. Uh, why was this so hard? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that one. Like, who does this to themselves? This is so stale. Okay, you probably should have mentioned that, alright? But I, I would have skipped it too. Who doesn't? A dumb shit, that's who. Uh, me, obviously. Hmm. The first one is incorrect, because there's, there's a lot of people that wake up an hour earlier and make like a feast of a breakfast. And that's not me, but... Yeah, I do get up and make some eggs. It's fine. Or just get up and eat some fruit. It's already done. Just grab it. 
Um, sometimes I also make a shake. That's pretty good. But... Who does this to themselves? Me, obviously. The first step is to understand that you're doing it to yourself. Right? Fucking mash city, dude. Here we go. Ah, if only you knew how <laughs> how hard I'm mashing. We brush our teeth first, buddy. Oh hell no. Ah oh, Jesus Christ. Well that was a disaster. The only way this could have been worse is if I had to eat if I had eaten a, a lemon before. I think I keep postponing the electric toothbrush thing deliberately by now. I think so too. That's like a quick stop at Walgreens. Go get an oral B. Is it just me or are my hands heavier or something? It's definitely not that. But maybe it is. I picked that option. Note to self. Buy a better toothbrush. Yeah, because that'll keep my problems away. No, but it'll solve one of them. And that's a good start. Uh... Let's get dressed. Alright. Hold on. Let me... Let me get ready. I might have to frets on fire this shit. Jesus, I suck at mashing. But it's enough. Ah, elbow. Don't let me down. My PC. Oh, no one to talk to today? Okay. Taking the coat? No? Nothing? Let's check our family picture, dude. Look, they're all smiles. No? Well, let's get the fuck out of here then. Let's go to work. Get paid, dude. Oh shit. Nobody warned me, dude. No ah, there's no way in hell. There's no there's just no way in hell. I just can't. I'm late anyway. Everyone's going to love the new fake excuses. It would be easier to quit and find a new job. Why even work if nothing matters? Um, I agree with the second one. Let's quit and let's get a better job. Everything looks fucked up. Am I going insane? Have I actually just snapped? Is this the black pit of despair people talk about? <laughs> um... I don't know, dude. I, I mean... I think this is a matter of perspective. Because... Look, you live in a nice little studio apartment. You got a nice little view. I see it. It, you, it seems like you have or had a wonderful family full of smiles. You've got a bed. You've got an iMac. <laughs> got a wardrobe, you know, private bathroom, nice little vanity mirror, a fridge. Like, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you should flip, turn that thing upside down and see that it's not exactly so bad just yet. Um, but it might be the black pit of despair. It might, it might be. You know, it, it might just be that. I can't. I just can't. Nope. But why? I... I don't know. I think I need to talk to Mick. Good idea! Let's do it. What are you doing online? I, uh, slept in again. Fuck. Um, we're gonna go with that one because it's the truth. Is everything okay? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Now you're now you're taking now you're taking choices from me. All right. Now you what you're doing right now is not making me a happy gamer. All right. Everything was fine until you forced me to say it's fine. You're putting a dot at the end of your sentences. You fucking weirdo. Yeah. And what is that supposed to mean? So what? Um. All of these are very defensive, and I don't like it. Uh... 
I, I guess the best one would be... You know, what is that supposed to mean? That means you're not fine. That's true. Oh. Oops. Ha ha ha. Tell me what's up. I'm fine. Stop worrying about me. What? Nothing's wrong. I... I think I have depression. Correct. Holy shit. Alright. Type in the words. What? Uh, self-love. Healthy food. Kindness. Fresh air. Positive. Friendship. This is surreal. Yep. I need to stop doing this to myself. Yep. I guess there are some solutions to this. Dude, I've been telling you. We gotta do all three of these. We gotta get some help. You need some self-care. And you need to acknowledge that you're depressed. Let's start with number one. Let's get some help. Time to take back control. About time, dude. Thank you for playing. The game will close in 10, ten seconds. 10 seconds. Wow, okay. Paper cages. I wouldn't be the world's greatest gamer if I didn't do the worst possible thing right. So, la la la, I don't hear you. Okay, yeah, close, no. I'm such a potato, but okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Tabletop on Mondays. Now let's fuck everything up. Usually what I do is I'll like wake up before my alarm and think it's okay and then go back to sleep. I think the worst thing I ever did was uh, <laughs> wake up late and instead of calling in and being like, hey, uh, I'll be in a little late. Sorry about that. I just waited for them to call me and then when they called me, I was like, what? I called in sick. And they were like, no, you didn't. And I was like, yeah, I did. I called in sick last night at around two in the morning. And they were like, we have no record of that. And I was like, well, you better talk to whoever spoke to me and figure that out. And nothing ever happened after that. Greatest gamer move, but that's what happens when you're miserable. Sometimes you just do bad shit. If you've ever wondered, you know, why is my life like this? <laughs> Chances are you're not alone. Oh God, did I just repeat that? That's one of the things that I learned while I was growing up. It's like, especially if you're in middle school, you think middle school is like the biggest deal. You're in high school, you think high school's the biggest deal ever. You get to college and you're like, wow, neither middle school nor high school meant anything. And then you think college is like the biggest deal. Then you get to work and realize that nothing ever mattered. <laughs> All that matters is the here and now and making a good impression. All right, damn. There's a lot less color in this room, isn't there? Oh, way in hell, dude. There's no way in hell. I'm late every way. Bad beer. Am I going insane? But why? I talk, I talk, Mick. Nothing's wrong. Uh-oh, family not laugh no more. Wait. Oh my. I could really just repeat that and fuck some stuff up, huh? I will never not pet the kitty. I will never not do that. <laughs> Is that a clown? Alright. Don't suppose there's anything I can do here. Let's talk to Mick. Mick, I think I'm losing it, like, big time. Oh, fuck. Type in the words to defeat your fears. You know, I don't think I will. Death. Destruction. Savagery. Uh, Post Malone. I guess, I, I don't think I have a choice. I think I have to actually type it in. Alright, let's type, let's start with Time Alone. War! <laughs> I saw war. <laughs> uh, probably, probably walking. Fire. Rust. A kindness. Um, journaling. 
knowing yourself. Time alone. Help. Um, kittens. Self love. Fresh air. Positive. Flowers. Paper. Schedule. <laughs> Fresh air is uh, not very strong. How about knowing yourself? No, nah, that's not very strong. Accident. Dread. Alright. I don't think any of it matters anymore. Sunlight. Safety. Self-love. Fresh air. This is surreal. Sunlight. I need to stop doing this to myself. I can start some solutions. Acknowledgement. About time. Okay. So not really anything different. That is definitely... A very strange game. <laughs> but I like it. I don't know about how accurately it portrays the working class. I think they nail the... It's the tiny things that add up over time. That really break you. But uh, it, it's it's definitely missing the the element of the roller coaster, which is just like the ups and downs. For me, that's things like I don't always enjoy my job, but there are times when I help people, and they tell me that I help them, and I feel good. And then I go home, and I'm like, "Fuck," you know. There's a lot of things like that in really just like in adulthood in general right there's a lot of things you don't want to do but have to do and you do them and sometimes it feels good most times it doesn't feel so good and that's just how it is and i i think it does a pretty good job of of showing that to a smaller degree with like the brushing your teeth every day and not really feeling like it or like i mean who hasn't right <laughs> kind of kind of exposing myself here but there have been times where I've literally just woken up, been kind of late, go to work, pop in some juicy fruit, you know? It's like not even spearmint, but I like juicy fruit, so I just pop a juicy fruit, you know what I'm saying? And never brush my teeth, but it's fine. And you know what's worse? Because of the pandemic, <laughs> it's like much easier to get away with it because you're wearing a face mask. So it's totally hitting all those those lazy laziness ticks of mine but that's no excuse I know damn straight that I have plenty of time to just go and brush my teeth and I should but there are times that I don't and I'm pretty sure everyone in the world has done that at some point so it's fine but it is the little things that start to add up when you don't brush your teeth anymore you skip breakfast while you're getting dressed you're like mumbling to yourself how much you hate everything you do. Then, you, it starts affecting everything else. You don't wash your car. Your windshield wipers are worn. They don't even wipe correctly. Your uniform is wrinkled or your clothes or whatever. Because you don't, you don't put in the effort like you used to. Then people start to notice you're not putting in the effort. Suddenly, your social interactions are a lot less positive. You start finding reasons to not be in places you don't like because you don't like them, and you'll justify them through any means necessary. And suddenly you're in this hole, right? And it's much harder to dig out of it than it is to just start to recognize, acknowledge it, and start making those tiny fixes. It's tough, man. It's tough. I'm not going to sit here and say I, I know the cure, but I do know what makes it worse. And... What makes it worse is definitely allowing yourself to fall into the mindset that the things that you do don't matter, or that you don't matter. You may think that you don't matter, but what you believe about yourself isn't always objective, like I doubt it is, nor is it usually correct, because we tend to be our worst critic every time. No one can tell me I'm a piece of shit quicker than myself, and uh, in some ways, that can be a good thing. Some ways you might beat yourself up a bit too much, or maybe too much, and you gotta be able to step back, get a bird's eye view of what you're doing, and recognize that before you fall down those steps and end up 
very sad. And maybe even in a place where you don't think you can ever recover. Does this game show all that? Not really, but it does show the tiny little steps that we take to get there. What do I think about the monster? <laughs> I think the monster's cool. I think pretty much everything about this game is great. It's not your typical point and click, that's for sure. It could have taken an easy way out, but instead I had some fun mashing, had some fun clicking around, had a little typing of the dead moment, good ending, both times. I'm not sure you can't even get a bad ending. I don't think it'll let you. I wish I knew more about the author, because I'd like to know their perspective. I'd like to know why they did the things that they did, and why they wrote the characters and the situations the way that they, that they did. But I don't have that. I only have my interpretation. And my interpretation is that the person who made this game definitely knows what it's like to wake up in the morning and go do something they don't want to do. <laughs> I think we can all agree that they know that that's a thing. That's credibility. That's experience. But I've been talking too much. And it's probably stuff that people don't want to hear from someone like me, right? That's not self-deprecating, it's just true. I'm not a professional. So... Go listen to a professional. I'm just... It's my experience, personally. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Paper Cages. And, uh... If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe. Because if you don't, I'm gonna show up in your room like a monster and you're gonna have to type happy things about me. You're gonna have to compliment me like nine times to get me to leave. Alright, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.